Bonjour everyone, welcome to France. Today we're making a croque madame French brunch sandwich recipe. Keep on watching the video and I'm gonna show you how to make it right now. Hello everyone, welcome to The Foreign Fork. My name is Alexandria and this is The Foreign Fork where we are cooking one meal from every country in the world. And today we are focusing on my favorite cuisine in the world. Shh, don't tell the others. But we're gonna be cooking some French food today, specifically a croque madame sandwich, which is a French brunch sandwich that's made with ham, cheese, and an egg on top. All right, so to get started, you're gonna need two tablespoons of unsalted butter. And I'm gonna put them in this saucepan and allow it to melt. To this, we're adding three tablespoons of all-purpose flour and we're gonna whisk the flour into the butter and then we're gonna let it cook in this pot for about two minutes. So there's a couple different types of roux that you can make. There's four stages of roux. There's a white roux, a blonde roux, a dark roux, and then a brown roux. So today we're gonna be making a white roux, which means that we're only gonna let the butter and the flour mixture cook for about three to five-ish minutes in the pot. The longer you let the flour and the butter cook together, the darker the roux's gonna get. So right now we're gonna be making a white roux for our croque madame sandwich. Now that the butter and the flour has cooked together for a couple minutes, I'm gonna add one and a half cups of whole milk into the pot. I'm gonna stir it in so that the flour dissolves into the milk. And then we're gonna let this stir for, it's probably gonna be about 10 minutes until it starts to thicken up. If you watched my YouTube video on how to make mac and cheese two ways, you know that one of the ways uses this method is the base of the cheese sauce. And so we're just gonna pretty much follow that exact same method. We're gonna stir this for about 10 minutes or so right about when you start thinking, wait a minute, this is not thickening, something's wrong, stir for one or two more minutes and then you'll get there. So as you can see, our bechamel sauce has started to thicken. Um, you're gonna know that it's ready when you put the whisk in and to mix it and it leaves whisk marks behind in the milk. Uh, that shows that it's thick enough that it's ready to be used as your bechamel sauce. Keep in mind when you're making your roux, you're gonna wanna whisk almost continuously when making it. Milk can burn really easily, so you're never gonna wanna stop scraping the bottoms off of this, so make sure that you just keep whisking. Now that our roux is thickened into a bechamel sauce, it's time to add some seasonings. So we have a quarter teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, an eighth of a teaspoon of nutmeg, and one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. Just mix those seasonings in, and then as soon as they're incorporated, we're gonna take this right off the heat. Now it's time to assemble our sandwiches. So I have eight slices of French bread, and this is not like a, a small baguette or something like that. This is a large loaf of French bread. Um, I got it from the bakery that's attached to my grocery store. It's a little bit harder to find in the bread aisle, so if you can go to a bakery or the bakery section of the grocery store, that's probably a good place to find it. In order to assemble the sandwich, first we're gonna lay out four pieces of French bread on our cookie sheet. Then we're going to take some of that bechamel sauce that we just made and spread it on the bread. Depending on how much bechamel sauce you like, you can put more or less on the sandwich. I think it's a defining factor of the sandwich, so I'm gonna be a bit generous, but totally up to you. Keep in mind as well that the bechamel sauce is going to thicken after you take it off of the stove. So if it's still not as thick as you want it to be on the stove, leave it for a minute or two and it'll continue to thicken. After you've added the bechamel sauce, then we're going to add our shredded Gruyere cheese. I have eight ounces of Gruyere cheese that I've shredded. It's not very fine, it's the thickest setting of the cheese grater. I'm going to put about one ounce of cheese onto each of the sandwiches. Try as hard as you can not to get the um, shredded cheese on the actual cookie sheet. We're going to bake these in the oven and you don't want it to burn on there, so I try to kind of clean it up as I'm going. Next I have eight slices of like sandwich cut ham. I'm gonna put two slices of ham on each of the sandwiches. And I kind of like crinkle it up a little bit so that it's not hanging over the edge so much. And there are a lot of ways that you can customize this sandwich. So a traditional croque madame or croque monsieur sandwich is made with Gruyere cheese and ham. But of course, if you wanna take this method and add some different flavors, you can definitely do that. So if you wanna add turkey or sausage or something along those lines too, um, you definitely can. You might not be able to call it a, a croque madame anymore, but it will still be delicious. Now that we have our ham, it's time to put the second layer of bread on top of the sandwiches. So just go ahead and press a large piece of French bread on top of each of the sandwiches. And you may think, oh, we're done. 
but we're not. You would be incorrect. There's still a couple more steps to add here. We're gonna do another layer of bechamel on the top piece of the sandwich. Now you may recall we had eight ounces of Gruyere or cheese. We put one ounce of it so far on each of the sandwiches, which means we have four ounces left and four sandwiches. So if you get where I'm going here, more cheese on top. You're gonna add another ounce of cheese on top of each of the croque madame sandwiches. Okay, so just as a little recap, the layers go bread, bechamel, cheese, ham, bread, bechamel, cheese. So if you followed those instructions, you're good to go. It's time to bake the sandwiches. I have my oven preheated to 425 degrees, and I'm gonna put this tray in the oven for about three to five minutes or so, just until the cheese melts. So the defining factor of a croque madame sandwich is the eggs over easy that come on top of it. So for each of our sandwiches, each of our four sandwiches, we have four eggs. And we're gonna cook those up right now while our uh, sandwiches are cooking in the oven. So I'm just gonna spray my pan with some nonstick spray and then crack each of my eggs into the pan. So a fun fact about me is that I get a little weary of egg whites on my eggs over easy. So here's a tip for you if you're the same way as me. So see how there's this little barrier of egg whites right here? You can use your spatula to crack that and all of the egg whites will kind of flow out of it and then they'll cook more evenly. So it won't be like a thicker spot of egg whites when you're cooking. After being in the oven for a few minutes, all of the cheese on our sandwiches are gonna be really nice and melty. And now we're gonna need to crisp it up. So I took my sandwiches out of the oven for a minute temporarily. And instead of uh, having it on 450 degrees, I'm instead gonna change it to a high broil. I'm going to move the oven rack up to the closest setting to the top of the coils. And then I'm gonna put the sandwiches on there for one or two minutes and watch them really closely because broiling allows things to burn pretty easily. I'm gonna put the sandwiches under the broiler just until they get nice and toasty and a little crispy on top. And then I'm gonna take them out right away. So if you've ever heard of a croque monsieur sandwich and you've ever wanted to make one, you can stop right now because you just did. So the only difference between a croque monsieur and a croque madame sandwich is the fact that the croque madame sandwich has the egg over easy on top. So if you just stop right now, you don't put the egg on top of the sandwich, this right here is a croque monsieur. But because this is a croque madame video, we will be putting the egg on top. So I have my eggs over easy that I've cooked here. I did not flip these because I like the way that it looks with the yellow egg yolk on top, but if you want to flip them, you totally can too. No one knows exactly why a croque madame is called a croque madame, but one of the theories out there in the world is that when you put this egg over easy on top, it looks like a lady's hat that goes on top of the sandwich, which is why it changes from monsieur to madame when you add the egg on top of it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you cooked alongside me because this is a really easy recipe to make with a delicious reward at the end. If you need full written instructions on how to make the recipe, you can check them out in the description of the video. And then also don't forget to check out all of the other recipes on my YouTube channel. There are awesome dishes from regions all around the world and definitely something for everyone to love. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next week. Bye.